Anyways, YouTube. Hi, how you doing? My name is Venbe. Nice to meet meet you. Um, we're gonna be playing Duck Life through the entire series. I will be saying this every time we start a new Duck Life series. Um, there's four um duck out uh, duck lives. So the first one, second, third, and fourth. Um, four. I'll be saying this again throughout the entire series at the start of each episode. So depending how long each episode is, there it is. Um, it's not long. Most of these games aren't long, but I'm gonna cut them in halves. So, um, I'll try my best to do one duck life, like the first episode, like the first two, and then the next duck life, duck life, duck life. You know, if that makes sense. Every thirty minutes, it'll be one episode, maybe an hour, depending how long it is. But there it is. There you go. In case you guys enjoy or don't enjoy, just like. Everyone likes liking things, so like the episode. Subscribe on YouTube. Really close to 50 followers here on Twitch. So, maybe follow me. Come follow me. Anyways. <sighs> yes, like and subscribe. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Oh my god, I'm sitting on a chair because this game you have to kind of sit. Oh, being 6'2 sucks. Am I too short? This looks so weird. That's all the stuff I used to build things. By the way, guys. It looks so weird like I'm you guys are on top of me. Hold on. This might be a little loud for you guys. There we go. How you doing, guys? Hey, how we doing? So, hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, yeah. We'll switch this to Duck Life. And... There we go. There we go. You guys can see each other now there. Can you guys hear the decks? Uh, no, you guys can't, actually. There we go. This is what I'm hearing right now. It's kind of loud. I don't like the idea. Can I pause the music or something? Um, skip. Ah, there it is. Settings. No music. Yeah, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna change it to some YouTube music. I have two YouTube channels, by the way. I got the gaming one that this will be on, and um, the other one, which is what you guys see. Well, you guys will see my friends and I. So there's that. Give me a second. Uh, don't get copyrighted strike. I don't think I'll get copyrighted because I play. Hold on, I'll show you guys what I play. Is this which one is this one? The gaming one? Yeah, this is the gaming one. But I I normally play. I play uncopyrighted music. So there's that. Sorry, four twenty six nine videos. Play. GCT music. GCT music. What's that? Coolio. Oogie. Well, let's see. Uh, where... Where's my playlist at? Uh, my, my channel. This is the one I n more, uh, normally use to watch things. My personal one with me and my friends. So if you guys want to see me and my friends, there's two videos that I need to literally throw up there that I have not done. And uh, I don't think I will. I'm not going to lie. Like, I need to, though. Like, see, that's me. This is heavy corona season almost. Punching. Me and my friends. Him trying to drink milk. There's a lot, but yeah. Anyways, um, change the music. And this is the one I use. Crossing. I just don't know what song would be good for this. See, cause I like, I like to do it. It's 420 in Germany. Oh yeah, it is. I see that. Okay, this song. I wish we could change songs back and forth. Oh, <gasps> we can. You know how? We, okay, I figured it out. I'm gonna keep this one on. Hold on, wait, I want to hear this one. No. 
Hey, wanna play some video games? I know I do. I, I wanna play video games. games. So No, that that's not definitely not going to be in there. Oh my god, that's loud for me. And I can't turn off the volume here. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. These three. So this is what I'm gonna do. Open a new tab. Open a new tab. Yeah. Pause. When something interesting happens, I'll change it to that song. At the start of everything, we'll do this. And then during the gameplay itself, we'll do this one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Okay, so right now we have to give food to them, right? Yeah, come here. Come here. You don't have a name yet, right, Mr. Duck? Well, anyways, Duck. Oh shit, is the, is the music loud? I hope it's not. It sounds loud in my ear, though. I'm gonna go right there. You guys could turn it off. You guys are... Yeah, you guys could turn off the volume. But... It sounds really loud for me. Okay, let's see. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas. It's a little late, but... There it is, Merry Christmas. Train a flying, enter race, train running. Okay, we're doing a lot of training, so... Change the song to you. Click start. Oh, I have to use the mouse. Oh, it froze. That's it. Just click. Oh, God, it's freezing. Me no like that. Oh, my God. Game. Okay, that's not that bad. No way that hit me. Retry. There we go. Now it's smooth. Ooh, I really thought that was going to get me. Give me. I need food. Or money, I mean. Perfect. Okay, Ducky's moving now. Move a little more faster. Work those legs. You're gonna get chiseled legs. More chiseled than they already are. Yeah, I really hope this music isn't copyrighted. I'm pretty sure it's not because the VOD would have been copyrighted or guideline strike, is it? By the way, we're going all the way to 100. We're not stopping until we get 100. That's how I normally play the game. And I like playing the game like that. Oh, that got me. Perfect. No, oh, I missed that. No, I literally landed on it. Level 20, though. Out of 150, is it? If I remember right. Oh, dude, you're gonna be beefed out, dude. Little du We need a name. I don't know what to name him. He looks... I don't even know what he looks like. I hope the duck doesn't land in the... <laughs> that, that Kraken house. That's, that'd be rough if he goes to the Kraken house. This is such an, a pleasant, easy game. I didn't even realize how fun it was like as a kid. I can't, oh, oh my God. I just saw that, I saw chat. Hold on, give me a second, I see it, but you're distracting me. Jesus Christ. Hands. All right, I'm putting chat literally right there. So chat is right there, by the way. It used to be up here, but now it's down there. Hey, I'm using my phone right now. I used to use OBS. So, 
I could actually see everything, but since I'm playing the game, I can't see it. So just letting you guys know that I, I see you guys. Just, just, I see you. I see you all. Oh, I didn't jump in time. 35. Boop. This is actually not that bad of a game. Like, as a kid, I, I remember it being a lot longer, but that's because we didn't have much time to, to sneak behind the teachers back and play it, you know? And for those that do understand what I mean, because I've got people watching from all over the planet now. Um, for us American schools, we were, uh, we were assholes. I'm going to tell you right now. We were all douches. We all literally played games behind the teachers back. Those who do know that, they understand cool math games is like the go-to place. Oh, dude, this, it's so nostalgic. Like, I remember when I was in elementary school, some, this was fifth grade, right? And I'm not gonna say who, like the name specifically, but if she ever watches this, hey, how you doing? Um, last time I saw you, I was kind of a bit awkward, but I was going through stuff. I'm sorry, but, um, oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Do you remember that time in fifth grade when you stabbed my leg with a pencil? That hurt. I have a mark on my leg because of you. But yeah, that's what happened. Um, you will get 50 followers today. I played Goat Simulator in school. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I know a lot of people play Minecraft. But yeah, like this this game brought memories of that time. Because I used to play it a lot at that time. And this girl I had a crush on. Um, just so happened to sit next to me and stabbed my leg. <sighs> Better times. Uh, good old days, getting stabbed in the leg by a cute, adorable chick that I liked. I wonder how she's doing now. Hello, how you doing? I forgot to say hi. Hey, how you doing? Sounds weird, man. Oh, I know, it's always the crazy ones. I know. By the way, this is fifth grade me, so I was like... How old was I? Like... I think I was ten. Don't quote me. But fifth, however average fifth graders are, that that's how old I was. <laughs> Were you in the Kranken house? No, I didn't have to go to the Kranken house. I just, I just looked at it, kind of looked like, like, it wasn't, it was bleeding, right? But like, I just was, at, at the time, I was just a kid and I was just like, huh. I wonder if I spilled ketchup. I literally looked down and was like, what the hell? I'm not a girl. I'm fine, how are you? Um, I'm really good. We're really close to 50 followers. We're literally like one or two, one or two away. One away. I can, oh no, lagging. What's the name of the duck now? Oh, I don't know. I want to name him Kranken House. It just, it sounds right. He's going to go to the, he's going to go to the Kranken House. I know this is really weird for you guys. Oh, I have 49. Oh, I'm one away. I don't know why I want to name him Kranken House. But that makes no sense for you since you're coming from Germany, you know? But for us, it just, it sounds like a good name. It's like you naming like a pet hospital or like naming a, like naming at a restaurant. Kind of like that. Schmitterling. Schmitterling. What does that mean? Did I say that right? Schmitterling? I think I said that right. Oh, I jumped too early. Butterfly. That's what it means? Oh, butterfly. Oh, you're both... You both know German. Okay. I didn't know uh, Leon knew, knew Germany. Or Germany. German. <laughs> butterfly. I'm not gonna lie. Schmitterling sounds badass as fuck. He's my friend. Okay. Yeah, we know each other. Okay. Wait, what? You guys are both up still? It's it's 4.30. What's wrong with you? It's almost 5 in the morning. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you guys? I like how that's the first thing I like associate with it. It's just the time difference. Schmieterling. Sounds badass as fuck. Like, butterfly? 
sounds kind of sucky. You know, when you know. Yeah, you do. Schmitterling. Little Schmitterling. Look at him. He's flying. Oh. <laughs> Little old Schmiedel. He's freaking flying. Oh, God. Every time I want to say something good about him, he freaking dies. Stop it. Oh, that also reminds me. Um, We had this, like, uh, I don't know if you guys do it, but do you guys call it? Yeah, you guys do call it kindergarten. That's where we got it from, from you guys. I imagine the name of a clan chef, Schmierling. Is that really? Is that really a name of a chef over there? Oh god. Lag, hello. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Oh, right, right, right. So for us, it was elementary school. Um, what would that translate for you guys? Um... Oh, dude, I'm thinking... I'm still thinking Spain now. That is not what you call it. Uh, what do you guys call it? Well, either way, for us, American first, like, first, second grade, we do, um, this, like, experiment for science, and, uh, it's hatching, like, growing butterflies at the beginning of the year. Uh, Grun school. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. But, um, we pretty much grow butterflies at the start of the year. And then release them sometime in spring. Um, I remember that there was this kid that killed his butterfly before it even hatched. So he really wanted to take them home, right? And he put them in his backpack, right? And like, it was in its chrysalis, right? So it didn't really move at all. So what he did was he grabbed it, ran in, grabbed it. I remember this too, because he didn't, I knew he killed it. I knew it was dead because I watched it happen. But how it happened was he had the little chrysalis in its little like container thing and put it in his backpack. It, this was in the morning, by the way, when all like it was like we had our little break thing, recess or whatever we called it. Um, everyone left. Kid ran in and I saw him because I, I was sitting out there. I saw him like run in and run out. And I just asked him like, hey, is this what you doing, you know? And he was an honest kid, like, I wanted to take my butterfly home. So he did. And he put it in his backpack, and, uh... I saw him later that day get picked up, and he plopped in his car. Like, butt... Butt, then back. Hard, though. Like, he literally just plopped and laid back. Freaking crushing everything that's in his backpack. So I knew for a fact it was dead. Um, a girl that went to one of the first kindergarten opened the first kindergarten in the U.S. Oh, that's crazy history. Okay, that's interesting. Sorry, I didn't read that. I still don't get over that kindergarten is kindergarten in English, too. Yeah, like, I knew for a fact we took it from you guys. I knew that. Swimming. Oh, uh, hold Okay. Okay, I swim with keys. Yeah, I knew for a fact that's that that was that was um immediate translation because we got it from you guys. It's cuz I guess American history um I guess we kind of got taught that they didn't go to school up until a little after kindergarten. For you guys it was a little after kindergarten. Um first grade first or fourth grade it's called Skitnit School and 11th through 13th is called Skitnit Second or uh, Abirtur. Did I say that right? Abirtur? Abirtur. Yeah, for me. Oh, I didn't know you guys went to the 13th. All the way to the 13th. Oh, sorry. 1 through 4th is called the Grin School. It was literally the year after that, so. At the start of Sekundar Stufe? I think I said that right. 
Secundarstufe. Secundarstufe. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. It sounds right. It sounded right for me. Yes, okay. Yeah, so at the start of that, that's when that girl I had a crush on stabbed me. <laughs> Out of context. Whoa. All right. So I guess I need to put some context. Uh, I don't remember what was going on to the buildup of that stabbing, but uh, pretty much what happened was we were put next to each other, right? In that class that we had, like as partners. And uh, I think I was bothering her because there's no, she didn't, there's no reason for her to stab me with a pen or pencil. But yeah, boys being boys, me being a boy, I was of course like probably roughhousing, pushing a little, poking, you know? Because I can't man up at that time and be like, oh, I like you. you I think you're, you're a cool person, sweet, kind of, oh, I'm dead, kind of caring. But no, I had to poke you. And long story short, she stabbed me, and me thinking, being me, I thought it was ketchup or something until I got home. But yeah, that's that's kind of... She literally grabbed the pencil and just... Schwacked my leg, dude. This is a good song. I think the song's gonna end, though. How long is this? Delfino Pelaza, it's 30 minutes. You're kind of cute. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, kind of like that. She just, like... She was, like, a sporty type of girl. Like, me and her did a lot of things together. So, like, I just... Kind of grew attached. And I, it turned out a few guys had a crush on her. And I, and I, being me, got jelly and was like, hey... I don't like that. Stop it. But also me being me, I was socially awkward and I didn't talk to anyone. Why is it lagging so bad? Uh, I hope I didn't mess anything up. Yeah, but me being me, I was socially awkward and of course I can't go confront someone that is, you know, twice my size because everyone's so happy to get a growth spurt. <laughs> you got a, a corb from her. Corb being a stabbing from her? Or Corb being a cut from her? It sounds more like cut. I think I'm right, cut. Oh my god, it's lagging! Yeah, I'm dead. I might have to restart the song soon. So once it stops, I'll restart it. Do, 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 do. Hey, but like, she was, like I said, she was like a good person. So I wouldn't, she wouldn't have done the things she did. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think she remembers that, but I do because I have the mark. But yeah, she was like a fun person. She was sporty. And then like back in elementary, right? One day I will talk about this with my friends to like on stream. Um, every single guy, excluding me because I had a crush on her, right? Or on someone else, the person I just said. Every single high guy had a crush on this one girl. Her, I'm not gonna say her name, but for like sakes, we're gonna call her. Uh, what are we gonna call her? We're gonna call her Sarah. Sure, that's like a basic name. Cut is cut is a schnit to get a. Corb is like when someone doesn't like you, beg. Hmm. Corb is a trans translated uh, basket? What? Really? So, to not get liked back is pretty much basket basketed. Well, anyway, it's back to the story. Um. So there's this girl that everyone had a crush on. We, by the way, us guys, right from that same school we all went to high school together and the majority of them knew each other because they all you know obviously went to school together at the start i kind of just hopped in back and forth from a lot of different schools so i didn't really have that bonding with them but um in um high school they locker room talk one day someone had a conversation of um 
who'd you have a crush on in elementary? And they said, so-and-so. And all the other guys were like, oh, me too. Wait, you had a crush on her? I did too. Wait, me too? No, I did too. What? No way. I did too. They all said that. And there's like, of course, those odd ones out. One, one of them being the same crush I had. But the majority to like like 97% of them, right, that went to that elementary school said the exact same person. So everyone was really confused. Corb, um, I don't know how to say, like when you confu confess your love and she rejects it. Uh, well, okay, that by itself already makes, makes a lot of sense. So I get that. Yeah, I think that three, uh, that explains it better. Okay. Um, I think she had a crush on me. Of what I was told I didn't I didn't know like I didn't confirm it with her obviously cuz the talk to her. but um I kind of half confirmed it with one of her old friends so that's kind of how I got it I then Corb Bekomen she rejected you okay did I say that right I I Corb Bekomen I think I said that right. Did I say that right? But yeah, that's kind of what it happened. But more, more on the lines of me being just a normal douche that I always have been. <laughs> yes, I said that right. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you sent me a voice message. Give me a second. After I die. Oh. Please don't die. Oh, I went down. That was an accident. I'm literally just gonna keep one open just for you. Einen Korb bekommen. Einen Korb. Hold on. Einen Korb bekommen. Einen Korb bekommen. I think I got that one right for sure, for sure. Einen Korb bekommen. Got it. I think I got it. I need to put you back right there. I have like a little stand right there for it. So, pretty cool. Oh, my eye is just... Am I missing a ball? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm missing the little ball thing. I think my voice is okay, but it's weird to hear yourself. Yeah, after a while, I got used to my own voice. So like this thing, um, it, it lets you hear yourself in real time. So like, when I started talking to it, um, I kind of had, it's like, in a, in a way, training myself to hear my own voice in real time. So I know what I sound like. So in a weird way, I actually also kind of taught myself how to sing in a weird way because this allowed me to match my vocal co uh, chords with the song and I just put the song here and I started singing and it sounded really close to it so you know if it sounds really close to it therefore you're singing and since I got used to it now I can stream and watch myself stream and I'm not gonna lie there are some good scenes in my YouTube videos that I really like that I thought were really funny because at the start, I really didn't like my voice, right? I mean, who does? No one likes their voice. That's unheard of. Unless you're, like, really narcissistic. But, you know, we're not going there. But, yeah, like, I hear my own voice, and I'm just like, this guy, this guy right here is really funny. Like him. He's pretty hot. Looks sexy. Like it. I keep it up. You know, stuff like that. I was just like, uh, me? No way. But, yeah. I, it was really weird at the start, but now... I'm really like into it not into it like liking my voice but I'm okay listening to myself oh god I mean this is coming from the guy that that is in his 20s and and his voice still cracks you know I'm I'm saying that like aloud to myself and I'm just like wow I'm in my 20s and my voice still cracks what the f what the f like why? Why do you do that voice? Oh no. There we go. 
There we go. I really don't know why my voice still cracks, though. Oh, by the way, did we come up with a name with it? For the duck? Krakenhaus? Did I say that right? Right? Krankenhaus. Krankenhaus is this bird's name. Oh no, we went with butterfly. Ah, dude, I forgot how to say butterfly. Hold on, I need to go a little bit up on chat. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we went with Schmitterling. 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 Right. Schmitterling. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. I looked down on chat. I think I won't sleep today. I mean, Jesus Christ. What time is it now? Almost five? Junge or spricht kein Deutsch? Oh, that's young. Young boy, right? Young boy. Spricht kein Deutsch. Young boy speaks. Deutsch. Uh, ich dicht. Zeus, du beast, 16, order 17. I forget. Okay, I need you to translate. <laughs> because I knew, I knew what Leon said. I knew what he said. Young boy speaks um, German. I think that's right. But the other one is I am, I is ich, dachin, dach, dachte, dachte, dachte. No, I said that wrong. Oh my god. Game. Slow down. I'm trying to speak German. Du bist and then you are 16 or 17. Yeah. I'm not I'm not that old. I'm literally in my 20s if that's what you're asking. But I said I thought you were 16 or 17. No, dude. I I'm in my 20s. And I really don't like how my voice keeps cracking. I keep saying this like why is my voice cracking? Like I I don't go to school. I'm done with school. I've got my diploma and I'm going for a physics major. I'm, I'm literally done with everything. I'm no longer, I'm not that old anymore. My childhood is behind me. I've gone through life already. Nah, but like, I was small when I was 16, 17. I'm big now, I'm a big boy. He wrote, at first I thought you were 16, 17, and I I wrote, boy, he doesn't speak German. Oh, <laughs> I thought, the other way around, I did speak German. Or is speaking, oh, dude, that killed me. No way. Yeah, but, oh, dude, you're not the first one to mistake me for, like, a 16, 17 year old. So, like, I don't grow facial hair. That screws with everyone's, like, my age, right? Visually, people think I'm, like, 15. I sound... 16, 17, which sucks. Oh well. I say good genetics, but that means I'm gonna go to a bar now and get ID'd for freaking a cup of water. So dumb. Well, I mean, technically they ID you here before you even walk in. But, potato potato, you know? Yeah, my brain is kind of dead right now. Oh, I bet. It's like, it's almost five for you, is it? What are you guys even doing up watching me? What's wrong with you? You guys are watching Schmitterling out here swimming. Oh my god, my game froze. Down. Oh, thank god. Look at that. I guessed it. Up. Down, up, no, down, up, down, down. At 16, you can legally buy and consume alcohol in Germany. Yeah, but I think the US and a couple other countries. No, wait, the US I think is actually the highest like age of consent, right? No, not age of consent. like. Alcohol age is 21. Yeah, I think. Yeah. US, I think, is the highest. 
And they recently did that too. They changed it. They changed a lot to 21. So now a lot of people can't do things like drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes. I know cigarettes is 21. Yeah, 21 is like the age of everything now. 18 is the only thing that's the age of consent. But uh, if they change the age of consent from 18 to 21 again, or yeah, to that, um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be screwed. Not me personally, but like a lot of people are going to be pretty fucked. Like, like terribly fucked. So I'm, I know for a fact that they're not going to change that. I don't know if the age of consent is 18 over there for you guys, but I think it's 16 also. I mean, it's really weird because like 18 year olds can buy guns, right? But they can't drink. So it's like, you know, no, wait, you could buy a gun here at 16. No way. You can't buy a gun. You can own a gun at 14, though. Cigarettes are 18. Yeah, they were 18 here not too long ago until recently they changed it back to 21. But, like, like weaponry? That's a huge thing here in America. Like, <laughs> only in America, dude. Like, <laughs> like some things, it, only in America. You'll, you'll never find it anywhere else. Uh, I did swimming, flying. I just wanted to show uh, my Mario Maker level, and now here I am four hours later. Later, that was your own fault. Oh, hold on. Song's ending. It's your own fault. You didn't have to stay here for four hours. It's your own fault. Just saying, not my fault. Up to you. Just saying, you could have should have fell asleep. At fourteen, you can buy airsoft weapons in Germany. Oh, you could buy that, like, at 8. <laughs> like, you, you could literally buy that at any age, I think. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's something you could buy at any age. Oh, sorry, YouTube. Um, I'm changing it back. Just give me a second. I was changing the music. But we're really close to ending the game, YouTube, so... We just gotta... Um, how do I move? Oh, I'm moving with my... With my mouse. Oh, this is one of those levels where I just have to, like, retry. Okay. Yeah, like, here in America, dude, guns everywhere. Um, every state except California. Are like 18 18 real guns like heavy-duty guns that can actually well I mean I guess anything could kill you no like you're allowed to buy right you're allowed to use at 16 which is really confusing so or I think that's right I think that's right that's 16 yeah 16 is you're allowed to use illegally like own one, you're you're supposed to be eighteen. But you can use a gun at sixteen. You can go around and shoot things. Um in Germany sport weapons at age of sixteen. Okay. Dude <laughs> Sport weapons. Like kinda similar to actual weapons. If that's what if I'm thinking the same thing what you're thinking. Um here in America I think it's under hard condition, dude. No, not even under hard conditions for us. You just—it's literally a public school, right? Public schools, and it's free, right? For you, for uh, Americans. Um, depending what age you go to public schools, youngest you can even do it is at fourteen or twelve. Yeah, twelve to thirteen of twelve to fourteen, depending um how young you start school. But you could do, like, some of the, um, sport weapons they have. I, I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. But when it comes to, like, 
competitions with guns and shooting marksmanships and stuff like that here it's 12 to 14 depending that's when you could do it i mean even younger actually there's like kids that do it like professionally i'm not gonna lie though i, I suck with a pistol like i'm gonna be straight up with you like my first time shooting with a pistol like it's a simple like handheld pistol i sucked No way. I was pretty okay. I'm pretty I'm pretty okay. Like average. Never mind. I'm not I'm not bad bad. They count as lethal weapons. Well I mean Yeah. They would. They would count as lethal we weapons. Cause they, they can use be can they, they can be used lethally. So yeah, that, I'm I'm right. Schools literally have a I guess like a rack. Well, public schools, right? I don't know about private schools, but I'm assuming private schools have like the best top-notch like weapons. But they they have their own like little racks and stuff. <laughs> Those sport weapons for sports. You know, I just realized there's weapons in school. Why are well for us Americans, right? So I don't know how often there's school shootings that you get for you guys, but I mean. Here it's pretty, fr sadly, frequent. Like, I didn't notice how frank it, frequent it was until, like, two weeks ago. Where there was another school shooting, um, up north from where I live. It's like, two hours away, three hours away, four hours away-ish, I think. Something like that. And, uh, they're all pre premeditative. Meditative. I, I think I used that word right. I don't think I used that word right now. I'm, I'm double, fuck brain work ah okay whatever they planned it out pretty much i knew for a fact they planned it out but majority of them are planned out some of them um kids just carry pistols around school in their backpacks and they're really easy to hide which is kind of bad pretty rare i think okay yeah like if you ever Go on Google and search up U.S. school shootings. You'll find one that happened within a month, less than two weeks, I bet. I can look one up now. I know for a fact there, there should be one. No, wait. It's the holidays. No one shoots in the holidays. Even school shooters. They all have standards. Yeah, th that's only because no one's at school. So. Almost never when someone uh, triggers large-scale operations with an airsoft or somewhere. False shooters sometimes. Oh, understandable. <laughs> False shooters sometimes. Okay. Yeah, like, I know for a fact when I was in school, we had to wear clear backpacks because an elementary school student, this is, keep in mind, this kid's like within the ages of five and eight. Five and nine. Yeah, that sounds right. Five and nine. He took a gun to school he or she I don't know if it was a boy or a girl but I do remember I had an elementary school within kindergarten or I mean first through fifth that's our elementary school by the way um I don't wear a clear backpack we had a uniform it was a uniform school but yeah like there's no need for you to do that you're an elementary school student. Why do you need to go shoot up another elementary school student? Kids are wild, dude. Like they're they're actually insane. But again, this is something you'd only find in America. In Germany, sometimes like like this is 
is that rare that a person shooting one person is pretty big in the news for like one week at least yeah it's if one student shoots another student it's big for like a day or two maybe like depending an hour or two just for the fact that we have a lot of things going on and like a lot of violence especially now well actually it died down a lot but in recent times yeah there was a shit ton i only remember that in 2013 a school in munich was shot oh, okay dude i know someone that that lives in that area so i know someone i know someone that lives in or in that area one day, me and my girlfriend wanted to visit that. Well, we were friends at the time, though. We were going to visit that place. It's a city, right? If, uh, if I'm right. It's a big city, too. It's not the state capital, is it? As someone shot there, not the school was shot. Oh, oh, oh okay. I thought, I thought the school, no. Last time, guys. And then we're gonna go start the races. I think we made it. Yep. There we go. Everything except energy. Hold on, let's change the music now to... Something else. Sorry guys. Um, but in Sweden, it's sometimes very blatant, blatant, blatant. Okay. People are killed there every day. Oh my God. Sweden? No way. You, and you didn't, don't hear about it because it's normal. Well, yeah, see, when something like that is normalized, you won't hear it. Like, here in America, no, you only hear about it because it happens a lot, and after that, it got normalized. Like, like students literally are normalized now until, like, school shooting things, which is not a good thing. And when things do, like, end up happening, they're like, oh, I should have done something. But nothing happens. The only thing near to something like this is, uh, I really remember, it's like two months ago, a guy shot a worker at a gas station. Because the guy didn't want to wear his mask. Because in Sweden, there are many clan and mafia shootings. See, I knew about that. Because I knew gang violence happens everywhere. That's literally everywhere in the world. I just, I didn't know that um, Sweden was like one of the top ones for gang violence. Oh god, did it freeze? There we go. Can I shop? Okay, we're gonna buy sh oh, buy a shit ton of these. You know what? You got a cap. All you, all you, it's yours. Dude, that's really loud for my ear. How do you think I was 17? Like, I'm just like, I know how old I am. I'm not gonna say how old I am, but uh, little, hold on, give me a second. Come on, take it. Hello? No! There we go. There we go. What? Yeah, there we go. How do you guys think I was 16, 17? Crazy. Oh, uh, what happens often are stink bombs attacks on schools. Stink bombs, really? 
that doesn't even sound too bad. Like, I remember my school, like, they're always big in the local news. Yeah, like, the biggest things for us are, like, um, just actual shootings. Like, that they themselves, that by itself actually seems like a slap on the wrist. Because uh, people actually just, like, get shot. Like, it, and it's crazy. It's not just one. Usually, it's multiple kids. But, yeah, enough school shooting. This is it, guys. We're really close to the end. We've completed 150 levels of flying, swimming, running, and energy is okay. Enter race. Little schmiederling. About to win every single race right now. She's even got a little cat, which I think is adorable. I'm not gonna lie, I think I should buy more energy. Look at that, left him in the dust. Good job, Schmiedling. You won 50 coins. Easy. Beginning. Schmiedling's about to freaking blow this thing out of the water. The hardest thing... Oh shit. Sorry, I'm reading. The hardest thing that has happened at my school so far was that someone broke in and stole laptops. Yeah, but isn't that the point of, um, not the point, um, there's a lot of TikToks that had people stealing things. Um, we have these, like, portable classes, right? Or, well, I used to go to the school with portable classes. And you can literally put a trailer and drive it out of the school. Schmierling literally took first place. Let's go. Easy. Good job, Schmierling. Training always pays off. But yeah, like... I really thought someone was gonna do that because I know there's a lot of people that like took like soaps from the bathrooms and trash cans and took them home and were like, "Oh look how cool I am! I took it." But like, like, oh, hey, why, why, would you, why would you need that? Like, there's no need. Poor janitors, to be honest. Like, I knew a janitor. It was his last year working there, and me and my friend, um, we bought him little gifts for Christmas, and he literally made his day. Like. It probably made his entire school, like, entire career. I don't think anyone's ever bought a janitor unless they knew him personally, in his personal life. Um, anything. Like, we talked to him every day during school because he, well, once a week during school. Because me and my friend used to walk to school. And, uh, it just so happened that he, um, he cut the bushes on that week. So literally every time... We see him, he's cutting bushes. And we were always like, hey, how you doing? Hi, what's up? Um, but that was really a break-in with vandalism where our school was closed for one day. Dude, our school never closed when I was in school. Like, it just, if anything bad happened, it continued, which is kind of sucked, but kind of happened. I felt bad though, like, for like some of the teachers, they had to put up with us. I know for a fact, like, like for one, he, one, one student was really bad. He, uh, he would throw things across the class and, like, shout. I remember that. That was in, uh, I think elementary school. I think in fourth grade. No. Yeah, fourth grade. Schmierling's about to win this one again. Oh, dude. If that wall wasn't there, he would have took in that easy. No, everyone's trying to catch up now. Swimming. Why there is blood on the board, I don't care. Let's it's time to learn some German. Yeah. Kinda 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 like that. Like <laughs> blunt blunt way to put it. Oh no. A bombing at school. But look at this math. That makes zero sense, and you're gonna use in your the rest of your life. I was really good at math. Well, I mean, I have to be if I would be a physics uh, teacher. But I mean, day to day life, I literally never use it. I mean, I guess I add really quickly. Like I could do my. Like I know. Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of energy. No, Schmiederling. No, 
You were right there. Oh, I think I broke my computer. Schmierling, you're gonna take all of this. Okay. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like, I'm gonna be a physics major. So, like, I know for a fact you will never use it. Unless you're building things, or you're doing something with it. Like, there's literally no point for math. Other than addition. Oh, voice crack. Wow. Addition, subtraction. That's literally it. I, I guess multiplication. or div I mean division is pretty well when you're with groups of people. But other than that, like, there's no there's no point for it. Like, like you and your friends, right? There's like, what, probably like four or five of you guys? And there's a whole pizza? How many slices would you have to cut that one whole pizza in? That, that's understandable. That's like something realistically you would do. Or like, let's say you guys won a competition, right? Like, at school. And it was a grand prize of a thousand dollars or something like that. I don't know. I'm throwing numbers out. And like, you have to split it amongst four people. Oh, but one person wants a hundred dollars less or a hundred dollars more because he put in the work or put in less of the work. Well, then you subtract that. You divide it first, right? Of four from a thousand, that's uh, 250. And then you just add and subtract and whoever gets that gets the other one. Uh, soldering iron. Soldering. I solder a little. I had the little thingy, but I solder wires. Anyways, back to the race. Enter race, hello. Game. There we go. Enter races. Rooftop jumping. Yeah. Uh, Pythagorean theorem, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. There's. No, actually Pythagorean Theorem would be really good. Pythagorean Theorem is the A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? If I'm wrong, quote me and tell me because I need to know this. It's, it's mainly used for like statues and construction. Like when you're building a statue and you're figuring out where to place it, that's literally the only thing you need, like, because you need to figure out how high, how tall it is, away from the building you want. Yeah, okay. See, I remember that stuff. Up the volcano. Here we go. Schmiegerling will win this, hopefully. If he wins this, he could win the entire thing. Yep, like a freaking badass. But yet, yeah, like, unless you're building things, like... Math is never going to be used. History is only good so you don't repeat the things people have already done. Like, it's good to know history. I'm not going to lie, knowing history about something is literally only good so it doesn't, well, cliche as it sounds, it repeats itself. It makes sense. Like. Someone else already made a mistake of drinking something that's poisonous. Oh, might as well I drink it. Oh, wait. It's poison. Ooh, I clicked the wrong one. Hopefully I win. Music as a school subject. Okay. I did play music. I played trumpet, trombone, baritone, and tuba. Um, I have a kalimba right now. One of my friends gave me it, and I can play Gravity Falls pretty well on it. And one enemy song, because I'm a weeb. Um, music as a school subject? Honestly, I think it's fun. Like, personally, I think it's really fun. And I would actually recommend that for any, like, student. Because, like, it's a fun thing to learn. It helps you rhythmatically. I said that really wrong again. For rhythm, it helps you out, and it's just like, it literally, you use like half of your, what's the other half? Like the, there's two halves, the, I don't want to say the intellectual side, the critical thinking side, and the, I, I'm going to call it the playful, imaginative side, I 
for sure I don't know the terminology right now. I don't know why I'm blinking, but like you use that creative side. But when what I'm learning this for, but what? Why? I mean, it's just a fun thing to learn. Like, like I could play the freaking big ass sousaphone and I could chase people around with it, and I think it's funny. Like in my opinion, I like to meme around a lot. So like, playing the instrument, amazing. I love it. It's great. Cool. Like, imagine, like, randomly playing, like, have you ever seen Jaws? I could play that on my tuba. And I played it really loud one time, and people got scared because they've seen the movie Jaws. Or, like, the people who just recently saw it hear me go, they literally start panicking to life. Let's play Minecraft and Beat Saber instead of music. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I think some schools are actually doing it. Whew, first place, first place, first place. Thanks to your incredible record. Uh, hello. Game. People are actually playing um, Minecraft for classes. You have been chosen to race against the world champion. <laughs> I like how they have a stock photo of a trophy. All right, here we go. This is for all the marbles. This is what we trained for, guys. Oh, he's catching up. Oh, I'm lagging. Yeah, it would be fun, but in Germany, we usually don't play instruments in music class. We have more music theory. Oh, that sucks. That's that's terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That That's actually terrible. I'm sorry. But yeah, like, we pl when whenever there's music uh, for schools and stuff, they they play. They that's all they do. They play. Let's go, Schmierling one. Congratulations. Yes, that's it. No more duck races for you. But guess what? You can continue your duck training adventures and play Duck Life, world champion from the main menu. Be sure to check it out at. Check it out the Duck Life app for iPhone and Android too. It's full of brand new ducks, training, and races. You've unlocked a crown for the king of ducks. Schmiedering. Ah uh, yes, Schmiedering won. Anyways, that is all for YouTube. This episode of Duck Life 1. We will be really, well, just just hop into the next episode if you guys want to watch um, Duck Life 2. Anyways, that's it for Duck Life, the first one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, comment. You guys know what to do. Follow me here on Twitch. We're at 50 followers! Oh my god! I wasn't even paying attention. Who, oh, who followed me? Oh god. Oh god, okay. Um thank you YouTube for everything. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.